All right, here we have the 67 vet. It's all been bacon soda blasted and cleaned up. We can see all the previous repairs that are underneath. Where, uh, but she's all stripped down and clean. We had the, the complete back end of the car has been cut off and replaced. We got uh, extensive work underneath and everything. We've seen some lamination. This whole quarter has been done in body work and body putty. Um, the big mark that was on the roof is actually where I guess somebody sat on it or something. It was all body putty. It's all wavy. Um, it'll be straightened out. This front fender had been previously replaced. It's a different density than the other factory fender. Uh, the lower part, front part, and everything will be repaired. But that's pretty much it. It's uh, going back to work on it. It's, uh, just uh, got it all stripped down, getting ready to take it off the frame and clean it up the rest of the way. But it gives you an idea of where it's at right now once it's gotten back from baking soda. Baking soda and everything will remove all the paint and clean all everything out. It won't tear up all the fiberglass and all the previous body putty. I'll give you an idea of where everything is, but uh, I spent about two days last week baking soda this thing real nice, getting everything everywhere. So, uh, but you all can see where we're at with it, and we're gonna continue on. <laughs> All right, here we are, 67, taking the body off of it. And we're gonna be able to roll the frame out from underneath of this and then put a jig underneath of the body and have the body up on the rotisserie so that we can do all the underneath. And all it is, a simple couple straps hooked to the frame and the metal reinforcement into the body and it's hanging. And we'll take it tomorrow and strap her down on a rotisserie. We got a jig, a floor jig, it'll ride around on and stay on that jig and it'll sit on level ground on that jig. And then uh, same with the, the frame. So. Hey Mike, push that out from under there. If you can, just roll it forward. Should just roll right out of there. <laughs> nah, that's the size you're going to go up. Nah, you might have to tilt the body a little bit to go past the tank. Nah, it went right past it. Alright. Got an idea of what the frame will look like. He's normal. All covered in rust and grime and you know, our body mounts, mounts are rotted out, everything rusty in between. All the bacon soda left behind. And it's just uh, pretty dirty. Got a nice pretty tank sitting on the back, just clean it all up. But the frame looks in real good shape. And uh, that's about it. Yep, there's the arbor stuff. Alright. Okay, now we got the Corvette up on its roll around jig. We set a complete jig up underneath of the car to set it at the right stance of all the mounts. So it's all set in nice and level. It's fastened all up in place. Put rotisserie arms in and everything so we can put it onto the rotisserie for doing some of the stuff underneath of it. If I got better light, I'll have to get some light and show you some of the stuff that's going on up inside from previous repair. But you've seen everything. We're going to be getting on it. It went all up on this jig yesterday and uh, start of a new day. I'm gonna get this down, get the frame up on here, get on rotisserie, get it torn down, get it blasted, sealed up. 
and then we'll be on this body. So, y'all see what's going on? And we'll continue with this later. All right, you can see we got the frame up on the lift. We're taking everything apart on the frame. Get the exhaust and everything out of the way. Um, frame's gonna get all media glass and clean. We're gonna scrape all this grease, scraping all the sides, and clean all the big grease off of it. And uh, get the rear taken down, get everything taken apart, media blast this thing. And uh, you guys can see what we got going on. Here we are with the frame. It's all being glass beaded and uh, kind of got ahead of ourselves. Uh, we wanted to get some video of being glass beaded. It's kind of a nasty situation when it's getting glass beaded, but you can see how nice the frame turned out. It's all real cleaned out through everything. Got a little bit of dents from, I guess, uh, old damage, people running into stuff. Down here, a couple little tiny things, nothing major of any which way. And, uh, but she's all glass beaded and cleaned up. We're getting ready to put sealer on her and we're going to put chassis black on the whole thing and uh, seal it all back up and start reassembling everything. So that's where it's at. Uh, sorry I didn't get any pictures of it being glass beaded for, but there's we are get ready to shoot it and then I'll come back when I got it all an epoxy sealer and then I'll come back to you when I'm painting
Hey guys, this is George from Graveyard. George Siebel from Graveyard Run. I forgot that word. Here is the chassis frame, all painted chassis black and ready to to reassemble. I hope you guys like it. It'll be nice when it's done. You guys can like this as well as you want it. It'll be nice. It's pretty nice. You'll love it. Hope you do. Pretty. Hope this chassis gets on the car. Very, very well done. Just give you a closer look at it. I don't want to mess up the paint, so I'm just going to give you a closer look right by not touching. Pretty, isn't it? Yeah, I hope you love it. Anyway, this was George from the Graveyard Run well, from the 67. The 67 Corvette chassis frame. This